It's time for yet another ill-fated series that'll probably go on two episodes, and that is What's in the Box from Japan. I don't know why I added specifically from Japan there, but that's right, all of my stuff from mainly. So there's no particular reason for this series, really, but I just thought that unboxing videos are fun, and I never really get another chance to show you guys what it is I order from Japan unless I decide to do a review. So I thought what I'd do is I'd open up the box of stuff that I've ordered from Hobby Link Japan and just show it to you guys, basically. It's going to be quite a short video, but I thought it'd be kind of fun, really. Now, some of you may be asking why Servbot is there. Well, he's not part of anything, really. He's just a hat I had, and I like thing having things in the background to kind of break up the monotony of my wallpaper. So, without further ado, let's get Servbot off the top of here and put him somewhere in the background. There we go. Now, my address is on top of the box, so we're not going to look at that. This is from Hobby Link Japan. That is their website. If you do want to check them out, they sell loads of anime stuff and just snacks, stuff like that, really. And in fact, I'll be able to show you exactly what kind of things they sell once they open this up. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. As you can see, the box is opened up and my address is not facing it. And that's the number or letter or whatever on the box. So, I kind of remember what I ordered, but I don't remember exactly. So I'm just going to delve my hand in, pull stuff out, and we'll have a look. The first up is a cup of ramen that I ordered. Now, I've also realised that I don't remember the name of these things, so I will put them at the bottom of the screen here once I find them, but this is that ramen cup. I believe this is a particular flavour that sounded really nice to me. I will actually maybe do a review of this, because I've been meaning to review ramen for quite a while. But yeah, this was something I think there was on sale or something, and I thought, hey, let's give it a try. It's actually quite a weighty bit of ramen there. What is the next thing? So I'm opening, I'm pulling these out at random. Ooh, the next thing is a Mon Colle thing from Pokemon, as you can see there. What one will it be? It's Rotom! Sorry about that technical difficulty, but as you can see there, it does say Mon Colle EX, and that is Rotom, and he comes with his stand. I've actually been meaning to get a Rotom figure for ages, because I really like his design. And this is really cheap. What is up next? Oh, it's another Moncole. Can you guess which this one is? It is Mimic You. I was actually really hyped to see this for a really good price as well. Because over here in the West, for some reason, the only way you can get a Mimic You figure is with the Pokeball thing, but that costs ten pound, which is insane. So this is really cool. I really like the packaging as well. It's actually quite dynamic. It's got like a weird kind of circle-y thing. I don't think he comes with a stand, but he doesn't need to. Anyway, that was my Mon Colle. That's my ramen. Ooh, okay, this is a bit too far away from me, actually. I'm going to move everything over to there. Okay, quick jump cut. Sorry, I had to take all these air packet things out of the box because I just kept grabbing them. Next up is... Ooh, okay. Uh, they've packed these together, apparently. Let's open this up and see. So, the first one is Habanero flavoured crisps. Now, I can't remember the name of these, but again, I'll put them at the bottom here. But these are essentially onion ring kind of crisps, except they're Habanero flavour, and I really like spicy stuff. I've never tried these, and it's quite a weight to them, actually, as well. I'm surprised. I thought this was going to be really airy and kind of eatable in one sitting, but honestly, this seems like quite a large pack. Uh, there's the habanero demon there saying something at the back that I just cannot read. And, also in the pack, is this seven pack of pet salad. Now, as you can tell from the front there, these are kind of crunchy sticks, and they're salad flavour. It's a nine pack, not seven pack, sorry, but yeah, this was something like four pound or something and i believe pretz is actually quite nice i've had one before and there's a little uh something there for five thousand yen or something i can't tell what it is but yeah again put a heavy little pack and the final item in this box is something i've rather been looking forward to this is the white base i think it's one two thousand forty four oh one thousand one to two thousand four hundred scale so if you've seen the original mobile suit gundam 
you recognise this as their kind of home base kind of place. Ah, there you are. That's uh, the symbol for Mobile Suit Gundam or Kido Senshi Gundam. That's the cast there with a little Am Amaro Ray and the rest and uh, Miller Brothers. Um, yeah, basically inside is, as you imagine, with lots of Gundam kits. This little bit of plastic they put together. Actually, this is all white, so I think there's a bit of painting involved here, which I'm fine with doing. I've never actually tried painting Gunpla kits before. But this is interesting, and I think like £2 or something. So, that about wraps it up for my opening of What in the Box from Japan, Episode 1. Thank you very much for sticking around. If you did enjoy this video and you'd like to see other things like it in the future, maybe, consider subscribing. And, of course, there are other videos on my channel that, if you like this, you'll probably like that I'll put down here somewhere, if my editing skills are that good. And until next time... Sayonara!